Hello, this is Tony of Tony's Music Com. Just starting off um, the Create Studio for you, so I can do a walkthrough for you a bit. But as you can see, you've got three things at the top here Home, Templates, and Learn. Learn is the uh, click, if you click on it, it takes you straight to the videos on YouTube, which there's a lot of videos on there. Right, that's that one. Let me get off that. Secondly, templates. There's a hell of a lot of templates on there of different things. What is that one? Devices, Facebook, Instagram, stuff. Uh -huh. Facebook covers. And a couple of them at the moment. One live action, one there. Local business, logo stings. There's quite a few of them. Openers, there's only a few of them. Uh, promotional, there's a few of them. Restaurant stuff, slideshows, stories, video cards, was one of them. Video wrappers, YouTube outros, and other. Right, so that's the templates. And then you get to home. Now, it says here, look, welcome to Create Studio. There's your account, and you click on update to get an update. And as you can see, I'm on the V1.32 update. It's a fixed and also save issue, which there was having before where it wasn't always saving. It's now sorted that is so. I had that issue myself as well, so um, that's okay with that. That's done. So then, if you have a look, you can. Click, connect to support through that and you can log out as well right so let's get back to that right uh, now it says create a new product or add new folder um, so what you can do is do create a new project you just click on it and as you can see you get the project name there which you can alter to whatever you want say like Tony's music Pro one. Right, so it's Tony's Music Project One. So I just say Tony's Music Pro One. And the preset is 720 on there, but you can change it to 480, 1080p, stories or Facebook and Instagram. I usually do 1080p. Right, so create, you can change the colour of the background straight away. So I don't usually, I leave it as it is. And then you create the project. Right, now up here you get media so you can search for your media yourself or get some from down off the cloud or whatever add a new folder and everything right um, the first one there is text to speech so we click on that and have a look at that um, you've got text to speech English US English UK English Australia Spanish German French French Canadian Italian Japanese Korean and so on Right now, if you just do English US for example, and you say type to speech, say that's it, generate that. Right now, you can preview it before type you put it in. Here. I don't know whether you heard that. Just type your script here, right? But you can change it to different people. That's Dave, got Sam, Mike. The different ones for different uh, countries in UK. There's only there ain't so many. If you say look, there's a few there. There ain't as many as the uh, US ones, but Australia's only got half a dozen as well. Um, it's Spanish, it's got just Penelope at the moment. They might add some more as they go along. German, they've got just Anna and Ernest, Julia, Jan, Andrea, and Nicholas. Um, French, you've got a few as well. They're not too bad, really. It's pretty good, that is. There's a few on there. I think they just got to add more for, for the Spanish one, well, looks on it, and more for the Italian one. Um, Japanese, I bet there's only one on there or two. Yep. Um, and Korean won't be many either, I don't suppose. Yeah, there's only two on there. I think they're going to add more as they go along, but I mean, it's only a new, it's a fairly new um, platform, this is, so. There's only one on there, Portuguese, Brazil. 
Swedish to you know you can expect most of them to only have a few on anyway with it being such a close such a new uh, video, uh, video um, app and that so but what you do is you can type your text in here uh, you, you can change the speech and the, the speed and the pitch the same time like while while you're on here like so and that and then you just import it to your media library and it'll come up um, down here on the um, and you can knock that off there and it should come down here if if you um, save it right and you go on the cloud for a media library and you got these popular searches stuff like wallpaper you can just import them like that I'm actually on the all access pass at the minute that's why I can download them but some of these things you won't be able to download like um, like the Pixabay I'll oh, show you that I can download them you have to upgrade to import so you have to have the pro version to do the, the Pixabay and the audio right but that doesn't matter for us because we've got Pixels and Pixabay on uh, my group but um, you know on here you'd have to upgrade to the pro version for that but I mean I've got the Pixabay and, and that stuff there look that's just come up and that one's come up so I've actually had, had got them so because I, I've got the all access pass I've managed to get them but um, if you haven't got the all access pass you can't so that just come up then right so that's how you that's how you uh, download it and and put it back that's just new folder so if you wanted to put stuff in the new folder you can just do that and that should go in there in a minute I have a bit of a problem with this because I'm not used to it yet I think you put it that way down here or something I don't know that way that's it got that then we're both in that folder now so you can do that and you can put you can change the name of the folder as well like that and then put um, three images like that so that you've got a lot of teething problems which you if un, until you get used to things you're still going to have teething problems right so that's that media part right up here you've got text so you can add your text right now as you can see they automatically go on on the track there and there you've got a lot of different squares and triangles and different shapes and that you can use you just pull them off and put them on I think I believe and um, then you got this select category of devices you can add them um, wait a minute go back to home and you, you got your icons there's a lot of different types of icons there for all these to choose from um, and it, I can pick up icons and then you have to do flat style that's that one quite a few different icons and things like that there you can use they, they have added a lot of stuff that's just monocolored monocro ones right that's them then you've got this is for your cursor to move your stuff around with that's for panning the whole of the um, scene and this you can up, uh, um, zoom in and out of this the scene and there it tells you the resolution the project name the background you can change them and everything import a preset or select preset and advanced settings auto save on or off canvas color dark guidelines etc so it's pretty good and it says there if you wanted to make a preset you can set, swap it to yes All right so and then next time you can import that preset because it'll come up on the presets right and there's your save and you publish there and there's your settings which doesn't do a lot on this part so and there's an exit so you can exit straight back out so no I don't want to exit but uh, you go into studio right now now you're in studio you've got scenes there which you got three types of different scenes you've got the 3d character scenes which is you just pull them across like that and that comes on and then you, you press the dot button and that's 
I'll, um, hand fist bump um, one. Then you got that one, which is a lady typing on a thingy. Eh? Right, so and you just delete it like that. So the six there, that's the um, what's scenes like that. Then you've got these other scenes here. These are two scenes of people working on a thing. And just delete that. Delete. Delete that. Right. And that's the other one. Um, that's just the scenes. Next you've got the characters. On here you've got four different types of character sets. There's this one, which is just an ordinary characters come up like that and they idle, they move side to side a little bit and you've got if you click on here it tells you the different things it can do you can have them on an iPad there's an iPad listening to music right um, sad selfie taking a selfie uh, thinking I don't know they get the thinking one on them. I don't think that's it. Try that. Let's do that. Get that back to the beginning. Oh, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, thumbs up. You have to go back to the beginning on that. Thumbs up. Yeah. Okay. If you click on If you click on the top part, which is the actual character itself, it, it brings up that again walking. So you can walk on it that one so that's I've added an action there look that's walking right that's pretty good the walking is not too bad actually um, you can delete that bit just by clicking on the X and it takes it back you can't stretch the character like that um, what you do is you add an action each time or if you click on this you can ch if you click on this you can change the action that's there so you can change the action you got to a different one and it changes according to how long the actual action is if you want to cut an action down a bit you you pull the side pull the side of the character in to cut down the action you can cut it down from that side or from the other side like that right so that will cut down the length of the actual action itself right you can do it from either side there that's what you can do with that right but that's the that's them characters there's 10 there right if you go into the next section that's that one you've got another 15 16 17 18 19 20 23 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 there that's another 30 characters I'll put that one on there you go and they have actions as well right. some have more actions than others obviously you're going to get the odd one here and there which does all things so let's just delete them off a minute right so you got you got some on bikes uh, that one actually is pretty good like the way that goes on the bike um, okay so that's that one then you've got these other characters here which are like in the car, you're driving in a car, so we'll get rid of that first. Yeah, so that one's driving in a the car there, like that, so you can see the wheels moving in there. Right, you can change the actual um, action of the person to pointing. Yeah, so it's pointing now, so. Right, and you got sitting with PC. Let's have a look at that one. So you have a look at that. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. Right, um, that's them. Right. Um, it's, oh, hang on. I ain't give you the last one, have I? Did I do the elegant ones? I did the elegant ones, didn't I? Let's go on to the next one, which is the 3D characters. I think we've had some more added here. Here you got this 3D character. Let's have a look at him. Oh, yeah, not doing a lot at the minute. Let's try. Uh, running, try that running one. Go back that one and see. Oh yeah, pretty good, isn't it? <laughs> okay. 
Might as well just get rid of that and then get rid of that character. Right, so we got this character here, which is a bear. We got that character, that character, the little girl was very cute, the one I, I used on one of my yes. We got a Roman soldier. What's that one? Oh a ninja. No, uh, I'd be good for my child I'd like that one. Uh, I'll just get rid of some of these characters a minute. Put some new ones on in a sec. Just so you can see all the characters in there. These are all from the all access pass I believe. Right, so you got oh, a robot and a pirate. And there's a other character I have used. Which is I called him Albert. There's the, one of the main characters that I use for their thing game. Um, where's that lady? Wait a minute, there's some more yet. There's a spice man here. Um, there are quite a lot of different characters. I mean, it's pretty good, these. I, li I like these 3D the best on this actual app. That's why I want the old access pass to get them. I even got Father Christmas there, look. Bit early for him yet, but no mind. There you go, you got these are all the characters for this and they're pretty good. They've got loads of different um um animations within them. Like that one's picking up dumbbells and that. I mean some uh, I'll have um, some characteristics of animations uh, down to just them. I like that one who was doing the, the weights and that, you know. So you can have some will have some of the char characteristic animations and some won't. So you can have like the spaceman will be space walking, I suppose, or something like that. You know, anything to do with what he's doing, really. But, um, you know, some of them don't have some of the animation you would want on all of them but it's the same with everything eh? same with every um, app really um, so now you've got illustrations you've got these ones which are well, kind of transitions so let's just check that out right that's that one I mean you can um, change these because this circle transition here it's a, a group of different things you can actually click into that somehow here look I've done it now and you can ungroup like that you ungroup it you can change how it works as well uh, I wouldn't advise it though but you can you can knock off one of the circles and delete circles like that I want to delete the lot anyway because I don't want it all on there just like a transition anyway so but that's what you can do to uh, to change them anyway if you want to and let's have a look at these other ones let's pull it back this way a bit start at the beginning again right now these are the uh, simple transitions anyway at the moment Wait a bit let's just delete that right let's uh, go back to transitions that's the first one the second one you've got a few more here different type of transition like swipe across transition uh -uh. you've got a few swipe across transitions there aren't that many transitions really but you, you, these ones are the best ones these FX these are pretty good I like these effects let's watch wow well, that's pretty good a lot of you know and you, you've got quite a few of them it's, uh, different one different explosion types and smoke uh -uh. explosion and smoke that's pretty good so I like them things on there that's pretty good um, well, so that was the transitions now is icons on there you got these are oh, these are like um, the icons that you can use here and add to the scene as you want it's pretty reasonable detail and there's a buzzer here that's pretty reasonable 
and stuff like that. Right. As you can see there's quite a lot there, that's not bad is it? Right, so go back over here. Now there's the 3D icons. So you've got 3D icons there like that. And let's just have a look at that. It's spinning automatically so that's fine. And you got these books here. Let's have a look see what they do if they do anything. Oh yeah. Well, you can, I'm sure you can change them because if you click on the box animations there, you can change the animation by adding an animation or something. So let's delete that. Delete that. As you can see, when I'm deleting them, there's a duplicate as well, so you can double, double it if need be. But there's all the 3D icons there there's quite a few of them as well so that's fine isn't it right then you've got your backgrounds you've got your 3d backgrounds obviously i've got a lot because i've got the all access pass so that's um, what's that 15 there and 12 and 15 and 13 that's 28 28 3D backgrounds I've got. Supreme backgrounds which are not 3D which is 15 there and 11 so that's 26 there as well then let's go back here and then the elegant ones we've got another 10 that's quite a lot of backgrounds as well so that's not too bad right at all and now we've got titles you got epic style titles which you can let's just check that oh yeah they're automatically um, animated for you so that's pretty good don't mind that let's try that one easily change colors oh yeah that's pretty wicked a lot Right, next one. Let's go to try a few of these, ain't we? That's that's pretty nice as well. So there we go. Let's just try all of these just to see, check them out. I haven't actually checked them out properly. I've been busy doing my own stuff, like you know, <laughs> as you do. <laughs> right, so. I'll put that on. Oh yeah. Get your pricing code. I'm not so keen on that one. But oh, there you go. But that's me. Okay, so I go back onto titles. And there's that one. And these are different things again. So let's just check that. Everyone loves tacos, do they? They're the more odd. I like tacos. Let's do this, do this, delete that. Right, so we've that, that, there's six of them. Right, now we've got the next one. You've got kinetics. Let's have a look at the kinetic one. Excuse me a second, my arm's going numb. Kinetic typography, there you go. That's that one. Let's just delete that. Right, so you got all you need is love, yeah. Right now, there we go. That's the one. Delete that and then go back to the beginning because obviously, oh, yeah, as well as that, with this, you got a slider here. This, um, slides the length of the actual time line so you can drag it out so you can go that's point oh one of a second or something like that so you can actually make it shorter or longer the timeline which is a, a useful feature some people have been asking for the same feature in other things so that's pretty good useful feature but these are all kinetic um, things here so you might like them there's them right so um, then you got 
Or says lower lower third, sorry. I couldn't read it then because I'm a bit what's it this morning tired. But well, there you go, we've got a couple of lower thirds on. That's it. Alright. Uh, that's enough of them. Pop up ones, yeah. You have a, a little pop when they're doing it. Let's have a look. Yeah, haha. Okay. So. Uh, sweet. Let's try that one. Yeah. And the, the WAP as it's going back in as well. So that's not bad, is it, really? Ooh. And you've got quite, quite a number of them, about 13 or something. Um. What's this next one? You got one of these. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, that's nice. Oh, that's quite nice. Simple. And then you've got oh, well, let's let's delete that. So I don't have too much on text. Oh, what's this? Our oh, badge. The badge. Let's have a look at the badge then. Oh, perhaps the doubt you allow go. That's not bad. Oh, no one, that's pretty good. And then you got another one here. Let's have a look at that. Pardon me. Oh dear. Right, um, let's go back to the beginning. Shall we have a look at the rest of these? Perhaps we might as well. Simple text box for you to add a little note during your video. All right. Right now, with with this, I just want to show you something. Right, if you press um, shift, you can click on two on them like that. Then, if you right click, you can create a group like that. So, and you can now rename the group as well. So, whatever you want, just click on it. So it it actually you can do it. I just can't do it at the minute because my hand's gone numb. But you can actually uh, rename the group to what you want if you click on the thingy properly. My hand's just totally gone numb this morning. So I'm struggling with that. <laughs> right. Ah. Oh, flipping heck. Right. Uh, anyway. You, you can change the actual um, thing. Um, so I believe anyway. I've, I've tried it. I've done it before. So now you can do it. Right. Unfortunately, I'm not in the position to do it with me hand. Me hand's playing up a lot this morning. Unfortunately, I don't know. I'll get that sometimes. I can't help it. It's part of my problems. I'm afraid. Well, let's go back to zero again. Um, what did we just do? Titles worry. Let's go on social. Let's see what that is. Oh, that's what it was. Sorry, I hadn't put and what it did it properly. I forgot to click it first. It just shows I'm not I'm not hundred percent this morning yet. I need to uh, wake up first. I haven't had my medicine either. That's probably why I'm having my problems with my hand as well. Ah, right. And see what this one is. Oh, yeah, that's, that's not bad, is it at all? Really, it's got you got a video inside it and everything. Oh, it just shows you can uh, what you can do. Delete, right? So you got got a few of them, and it's got YouTube and everything on there. Then you got elements, which are pop pops and things like that. Let's try try that. Oh, I've got that off file up here again, and I keep forgetting to do that. Sort this out. That's my problem. I keep forgetting things. Right, let's uh, delete that and then go back to the beginning. Um, so there's a few of them, different ones. Right, they're all popping elements. And icons again here. Yeah. New different type of icons. Oh, Facebook icon. Let's have a look at that. Yeah. There's another one there. There's only a few of them, but you got a lot of stuff really, there's quite a lot here. You know, so um let's have a look at this one. These are 
what do you call them? Titles, yeah, titles. So I really have a look at the top. See, I've gone back there again. Oh yeah, you can put, and you can you can alter all these anyway. But all you got to do is just ungroup them, and you can go to uh, Facebook.com and change that, and just change it straight off. So it's more or less most of it's done for you. You just got to just alter it to what you want, really. So that's pretty good. And just delete all that. Or see, I could have just created a group and but bunged it all together and then deleted it or I could do that so you've got a choice of what you want to do now it's how where was we now I forgot uh, you just done that and it devices next and it so we're going to devices what right, you got that's uh, supposed to be an Apple watch and you got an iPad 8 or something or is it a uh, something yeah, so we look on there. I've done it again, and I look see. So you got them. They look pretty cool, actually. Have fun on really. Oh, just got to delete all that. Delete. Uh huh. And then go back to the beginning. Right now you got this one here. That's another iPad. And delete. Delete. Click on that. Delete. I've got a lot of stuff on here already. I don't know. Right, um, there's another um, Apple Watch. Delete that. Let me go on to images. There's, you got the straight emails there. Quite a few of them on there. You've got the thumb up as well. Uh -huh. So that's all right. So we have a look at them too. That's pretty good. And they're about animated, so that's great. Delete them. I'll just do that a minute because I want to get onto where the stuff is. Find out where that is. So I'll put a lot of stuff on and I might put it where it should be. Oh, ah, there it is, right? So, there it is, right? We got it. I'll just get rid of that lot. Me hand's playing up a lot, though. So, ah. ah! Excuse me a moment, I'm afraid me hand's had to do me editing. So, all I need to do is just tick that off there, lot, like, and that off there. And just uh, delete, delete. I see. It's all clear now. Thanks for, thanks for that. Right now you got that was the classic. Now you got these other ones there. Modern. Them are modern ones. all oh, heart shape. Let's have a look at that one. It's not too bad. It's quite nice. Okay. And then you got 3D ones. If you like this one. Let's have a look at that one, see what I mean. Oh, yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Right. Okay, so that's them. Now you've got your vortex. I mean, sorry, video effects, sorry. Couldn't read it properly. <laughs> I'm terrible, I am like that. You've got different um, kinds of actions. Oh, that's nice, like that. I'll put that there. To the next one I mean let's just pull that back so it's there put that there then I can put it on and it'll be the next thing on say so, like that. Like that, right and then you go there so that's going to be the next one quite quite cool these I'm a lot this yeah that's just that one there's quite quite a lot there for that one that's the electric one. And you got these other ones as well. I'm gonna just delete these first. Right, let's go back to zero. Uh, try this. Oh. Right, that one's okay. So we try. We'll try that one. 
Yeah, it looks pretty good. There's, there's some cool stuff on it with the video effects and that. So let's try this one. to zero and there's quite a few of them let's get to the next one these are some of these are pretty good oh, I really like the effects on these yeah, that's like a paint effect liquid yeah liquid effect there and this one try that one Let's go down a bit. Oh, that's all there is. There's, there's, they're good, but there is, you know, you could do with more. Always do with more, couldn't you? You know, I mean, there, there are, there's a lot of them here. So they've put a lot in, a lot of work into this. This is, this is took some time to do all this. I can imagine. So I used to do a bit of programming when I was younger, and this is a lot of work. What they've done here, I'm telling you now. Definitely now myself. That is, it's been a lot of work to do all this. This is a lot of work. It took them ages to do this, though. It definitely has, I tell you. Some of this stuff is amazing. What they've done here. How long? How long it would take? You would you would believe how long it takes to do all this, though. It really does take a long time to do. It. But. Um, there's a lot of good stuff on here that they've done. Like this, this stuff is brilliant. I love this. This is brilliant. This is on here. This is all this firework stuff is great. This is the sort of thing you need for your animation videos more than anything else. This stuff. Which, like if you want to do an action-packed superhero story, this is the stuff you need. Definitely, and there's quite a lot of it fire and things like that yeah you know, it's amazing the way they've done it it's great really good I'm really impressed with that right and the transi transitions there oh yeah got to do it. these are more transitions here different types of transition let's have a look at that one I like the look of that one wow I'll just say wow that's I like that that was really nice and there's a fire one yeah, that's pretty damn good. I like that. <sighs> I think I'm going to use a lot of these in the future. I really am. I'm really going to use a lot of them. They're absolutely fantastic. And this is your last one, which is the shapes. And you got a shape like that. Let's have a look at it, see what it does. Oh, it just zooms in. A scale and rotate. And you can change it, obviously. I see it gives you a choice of changing them and you've got how many of them? A reasonable amount of them as well. So that's not too bad, is it's still really for all that stuff. Um and of course you've got the resolution settings here. And let's let's just put some on first and let me show you. Let's try doing a three D image first, like the one I was doing before. There's the classroom. <laughs> then you go on to uh, home put your character on um, I had a 3D character in I which was the professor put him on there you go now um, if you can see over here you got the sign that's what it is the professor scientist there you got your button to switch it off so you can't see it you got a lock button to keep it lock in position so you can't move it now you can move the background but you can't move him because the background can be locked so you can't move the background either oh, so that means all that's locked then uh, I've just took the professor back off so you can move him about however you can pan the lot what is you need to pan it and then you just switch it back onto that so that it doesn't pan anymore and then you move that about right um, down here you've got center to center um, fit to canvas right you've got expand Right, then you got flip. You got flip vertically, so it's upside down. You've also got this other thing, which is I'm not 100% on this bit, but 
it sort of um, if you've got an animation if you if you have the rotation point to the left it rotates around that point if you got it in the middle it rotates around the middle so that's what that is. It gives you the rotation point where it where it'll rotate around. So it's uh, pretty good because that means you can have a different action to what you would normally expect, and that's pretty good as well. And you got things over here like motion here. It, it gives you a special um, preset um, motions you can use, which I'll, I'll just flip him back over first. Hang on. Um, flip vertically right now let's just um, get him back in a bit shall we let's, get, let's click on the scientist first I don't know how to get him back in actually because I've never tried that before um, just drag him down like that a bit right so we drag him down right now if you want to do um, an animation there's a, the characters there right let's just go to the beginning Sorry about that to pop out for a second um anyway let's uh, what i've done is i've on animation i've clicked on the plus sign um you can also click on this and if you do this you can go onto linear so and click on both that helps make it more smoother when you do a transition or anything and i've clicked on the motion part up here and you can slide in from the right that'll make it look pretty neat like that and it looks pretty good you can do that or if you don't want to do that just start again let's go back to stop that a minute go back to the beginning and delete that a minute there we what we can do is instead of doing that if you want to make a custom animation you just go position like that and then you can go to the end point of the position there and say put him there and then at the beginning you need to go like that. you take it back that way off the screen maybe and do it like that and then it comes on that would be the way you do it so that's how you do uh, animation with it um, and you've got different opacity level scale rotation and it even gives you the X and Y axis, you know, so X across, Y up and down. Um, so you can change where the actual position of the actual thing that's been um, selected is on the screen as well. Not to mention the other stuff, right? Um, I think that's basically it. Um, oh, except for if you want to add text, you can add text up here, your text, and then you go to advanced. You can change add border, call it the border colour to I suppose yellow, I suppose. Go like that. You can ch change it how you want, and then you go back and then add the width like that, depending on your what's it. Um, you can make it dashed as well, so we change the effect and the, the space between the dashes. You can do that add a shadow and skew whatever you know all that stuff you can do that um, I think you can slide that in as well yeah slide that in so you just extend you can bounce bounce it bounce slide right or oh, slide right there do it that way let's try that one again try that oh yeah bounce this a little bit so that's that's an interesting idea to use those media that's already showing you different types of um, animation you can add to anything that you you're putting on whether it's uh, text or a character or whatever or, you know an icon or anything you can use these motions which will make it a lot easier for you then you save them if you want to save it to use later you can save it and then you publish it if you want a finished article done um, hope this has helped uh, you to understand about it it's a, it's a really good program I really like it and I think it's got a lot of potential so if you if you like it then uh, please by all means uh, click on my links on uh, uni 
5 I think it is yeah unit 5 or 6 anyway one of them well have a look through all the units anyway because they're all useful to you um, anyway I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and please like and subscribe to Tony's Music thank you right so that's that one